Hey, this is Patrick here. Welcome back to the channel. I have another short how-to video lined up for you. Stay tuned. <laughs> So here we are at the workbench. And this is what my workbench looks like when I'm in the middle of a project. I have down on my layout temporary track bumpers that I picked up at the hobby store for only a couple bucks. I really like them. I wanted to build my own. And this is what I've got. It'll sit between the tracks. Ignore the wiring for the moment. And it'll stop the cars and it's got room for the coupler to go underneath and an added bonus is a little red light it's not very bright it actually looks a lot brighter on camera than it is in person the wiring and the bridge rectifier will be underneath the layout so you won't actually see it. If you actually look at my buffer you can see the wiring. It's only a prototype. It'll be cleaned up for the actual layout. As you can see that's where it is. It's just made out of coffee stirs. Pick these up at a local store. Only a couple bucks for a whole crap load of them. So this is my first one. The ones that go down the layout I'm actually going to uh, stain. and They'll look a little neater than my prototype. So I'm going to build my second prototype. I've got the pieces already cut. I did not measure any of this I just kind of eyeballed it all um, so if you give me a second I'll move the test track out of the way set up the tripod and we will make one together all right so here we go again pop my light out of the prototype so what I have is I have two horizontal supports up here a horizontal support down here on the side I have two horizontal supports then on the top I have two um, I mainly call them fillers to go around the light on the uh, front I also have two horizontal uh, supports it's mainly just to give it a little bit of support and this is for a little bit um, for the cars and eventually I actually want to put some springs on here so the first thing you do or I should say the first thing I did start by super gluing Move this out here a little bit more where you can see. Start by super gluing your first horizontal piece on. long day my fingers are not cooperating with me this evening so just bear with me all right so the first one's down another dab of super glue 
but a second one right up to it. I'm going to stop the video a second, let that dry, and we'll pick back up in the next step. So that dried. Next step is to take our two vertical supports, or I should say our two diagonal supports on the back, those two pieces. We're going to put our cross supports on those. Touch more glue. Also on this back piece, I'm gonna do the lower support. I'm gonna stop the video and do the lower support right there. Let the glue dry and then we'll pick the camera up in a second. All right, next step is to join these. This is a little tricky part, trying to make sure it turns out level and even. They kind of want to get it vertical on the ground. Get it set up. And you're going to have to listen to me talk for a second while this glue dries because I can't let go of it to stop the camera. The one part I'm going to leave out of this build, aside from the wiring, even though I will show you, I'm not actually going to do it, is the two top pieces because I'm not sure about the light. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. Uh, these two prototypes are going to go down on my layout. And I'm going to decide then what I want to do or if I want to make any changes. So now that those are glue and it's still drying, I'm going to put our cross supports on very carefully. And I just used way too much super glue. So this, I just put across. Let it dry, and I trim it afterwards. And I'll flip it over, do the same thing, attempt to make it somewhat level. Part of this is they're for me and my kids, so they don't need to be 100% perfect. B, I am a perfectionist. So if I sit here and try and perfect it, it'll drive me crazy. So I'm just going to learn to live with a little bit of imperfection. So that, I glued it down. There's one for the bloopers. That is the extent of the build. When it dries fully, I will reinforce some of the areas with a little bit more glue. And I will test fit it on a track and make any adjustments. That basically is my track buffer. This is a three millimeter red LED. I have a 2100 ohm uh, resistor on the positive side and two extension wires, two lead wires, down to a bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier was discussed in my how-to video for upgrading um, to LED lighting on a DC locomotive. And I go over how that works. It's the exact same setup except I have the extension wire so I can hide all this below the layout. 
So that is my track buffer. How to from a beginner. I'll see you guys in a couple days for a layout update. Have a good day. Thank you.